I'm Ron Brubaker from Sigourney, Iowa, and the name of this truck that I have now is called Night Moves. I started in August of 1973 when I bought my first truck. I drove just a little bit before that, so come August it'll be 49 years. It was a family tradition. My grandfather started the business in 1935, and then my father, he hauled livestock with my grandpa. Uh, he come back from World War II in 45, and he trucked for 50 years himself. And it's just always been in the family. We've always been real local right there. I've been in every state except Alaska, Hawaii, and Maine trucking. I've been in British Columbia, Alberta, Ontario, Manitoba. I've been in four Canadian provinces with the semi. Uh, I don't care where we go, we just like to go places. I want to, it's got a not really, really nice flip bumper. I want to change it though, I want to keep the flip bumper, but I want to put a little different style on it where my oversized load sign can stick to it. And I want to change the exhaust a little bit. I've got to fix the rear fenders, I've got to change my ramps for my RGN trailer. We built ramps really quick one day, and I need a little more slope to them, but we got a few little changes to it. It's set up pretty nice, it's got a nice stereo system. The interior is all customized. Hardest part is just keeping it all clean while you're trying to work it. I used to have my boys went with me a lot when they was younger, and I've had dirty diapers get lost underneath the passenger seat, and you know there's something not right in the truck, but you got you can't figure it out for a while. Kids will do a lot of things in the truck. We used to leave them inside the truck while we was loading and unloading. One day we was hauling a load of lambs down to Mexico, right to the border. And I had the two oldest boys with me. They was like three and four. We was out of the truck for probably an hour and a half. And when I got back in the truck, it smelled like Windex, but I didn't have any Windex and I could not find the bottle. It smelled like Windex, and all my clean clothes was in a pile on the floor in the bunk. And they'd been up on the top bunk, jumping down into their clothes. So they did entertain themselves while I was gone. But I never did find that Windex bottle. 